great day everyone happy pride month i know this video is probably not going to be edited on time but i wanted to wish everyone a happy pride month we are jumping in the 458 speciale and this weekend is all about racing so it's going to be the spec miata race the 12 hour endurance race and then just enjoying motorsports in general we are going to be taking down the 458 speciale down to the racetrack I wanted to get a photo of this in the Spec Miata because it is the same livery we have the trans flag for both of these cars and super excited to get back on track and do a grid race so for now we're just gonna mosey our way down to Park Speedway and meet up with Windy and the team. We have an amazing team this weekend. We have Tyson C, Gabby De La Merced, Windy Imperial and myself and then we have Edgen also running the team so it's going to be a star cast hopefully we can perform obviously Mazda with our full support is going to be there thank you so much to Mazda Philippines Stephen Tan and yeah let's get on the road super gorgeous day today hopefully it's not too hot on track we actually don't know if it's gonna rain this weekend so we are prepared we did bring some extra tires just in case it did rain one of the reasons why we are headed to the track super early, which means it's a Thursday today, the race is on Sunday. We actually wanted to test out our number 55 car, which was the endurance car. If you guys haven't seen the previous two and four hour endurance video, please watch it over there. And then uh, we basically got permission from Mazda Philippines and Steven to modify the number 55 car. So we actually need to do a little shaking down and see if the car has improved over over the course of the modification and have we hampered any of the I guess the endurance traits of the car in terms of the reliability and durability kind of excited to see what Gabby and Tyson's times are especially since I've been practicing so much the past weekend I was actually at the track for like four days just practicing and practicing and practicing just to make sure that I get my times down so that I'm a little more competitive in the spec Miata race because we have Alan and Andre who are super fast in the spec Miata but the whole weekend actually my main priority is the endurance race we want to get the overall first position which is very difficult but during the 12 hour endurance the spec Miata or at least the standard Miata has a huge chance because of the fueling strategy versus the other cars the Miata actually will need less stops for fuel which is a super advantage so hopefully we get to complete the race and nothing happens to the car and it's a safe safe weekend but for now we're gonna enjoy the sweet sounds of the 458 speciale hopefully sometime within today or tomorrow i can take the car out and do some skits with it This is hilarious. My roof liner just fell off. I don't know if you can see it, but basically that is the cardboard bit. And even that bit has come off the roof and it's basically pushed the liner down. just taking a break because it is lunch right now we are waiting for Tyson and Gabby who are gonna join us this afternoon we're gonna have them test the car out because I went out in the Miata and I was doing a 221.20 which was my best time but I feel like the tires are actually giving way so I ended up ordering my lunch from this Chinese restaurant that I've been ordering from it's vegetables and rice so I'm gonna wait for some lunch and then after that Windy or the pro drivers will go take the car out and see if I am driving worse than last week or am I driving better so maybe it's because I did some skids in the speciale that I'm a little uh, disoriented but hopefully within today and tomorrow I get back on my groove and we can deliver a stellar performance with a number 55 car Tyson finally here what's up hi hello and Gab our star hello. drivers Naho, sino mas mabilis? the question of the lifetime Good thing we're all teammates this weekend. <laughs> Checking out what happened to the BMW M3. Just practice and they basically had to use the fire suppression system. 
Oh, I'm so sad to see this. Oh wow, okay, so just caught up with Francis and Mark and George and there is a lot happening with the car. It was Mark's first time with the car and it actually burned after six laps so he could smell the fuel and he was just in shorts. I'm just glad that the team of Francis is safe and everyone is okay. Oh my god guys, so we just got the paddock and Gabby was saying that the gearbox actually exploded. Um, the team is actually dropping the gearbox now, so we're gonna find out exactly what happened. I was just talking to Windy saying how solid the car feels, but this, this is not a good thing. Uh, hopefully we can get some spare parts. Steven, sorry to harass you, but we're going to need your magic powers again to get a spare gearbox if not i will donate my my gearbox from the spec miata so that we can run the endurance there's no way that this should be happening to us this is crazy the weather is a bit mental right now the rain came down heavily and it is literally flooding outside tyson has left already he said he'll be back tomorrow by lunchtime i'm so sad that he didn't get to try the car out but right now the boys are working super hard to bring down the gearbox. According to Edgen, when they drained the oil out of the gearbox, basically a lot of like metal shards came out. So we're really sure that the gears have grinded itself out. But for now, thank God Mazda has another gearbox they're gonna send to us. It should be here tomorrow morning, which means we're still gonna get to practice tomorrow and then still hopefully make the race on Sunday. Again, I'm willing to donate my Spec Miata gearbox in case we need a gearbox because I would rather join the endurance race because it's a harder race. Okay, let's get out of here. The team is now putting everything back together. We have messaged the other drivers to come. Um, I spoke to one of our main competitors, Ton, and the Civic for the COC team, which is the other endurance winners. Uh, basically, we're debating strategies in terms of our fueling strategy will be like five fuel stops, and they need maybe seven to eight fuel stops. So based on that, it's going to be interesting, but Again, if it rains, it's gonna change the whole dynamic and ball game of the whole race. Check out this nice Evo. Here comes Tyson. I wonder what his time is again. Um, I've been practicing so much and yet Tyson on his first outlap just obliterates all of my times. Just goes to show that yeah, I have a lot to learn in terms of making a slow car go fast. Tyson really, really is on top of his game. Steven finally arrived and he allowed us to put the LGBT sticker on the 55 car. Happy Pride! Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> so, Gabby's a fast driver, but there's our faster driver. <laughs> this guy on his outlap was doing 218. Outlap. <laughs> and then the best lap, 217.9. So, on a hot day, old tires. And I keep complaining about the tires being bad. <laughs> so, Gab is out now and she's trying to fix her line but the track had an issue because one of the bmws were spraying oil on the chicane section which made it a little slippery my time is still nowhere near as fast as tyson i'm doing 221.50 and gabby's doing 221 flat so we're way off from tyson and it's really interesting how he drives the car versus how we all drive the car Tyson's background is basically formula cars, which means he does a lot of aero driving and he takes the corners much more sharper than the regular line that we take, the round line. Gabby just came in and... Something's happened to the gearbox again. We can hear a sound. Uh, we don't know if it's the clutch kit or it's the third gear again. 
Third gear is broken again! We actually don't know if the upgraded clutch kit that we got is breaking the third gear, but... Yep, even if you start the car, you can just jam it into third without any clutch. How sad! Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, we have a spare! Oh we have a spare yeah. car! Yep. A spare of a spare! How does it feel? Oh, 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 bad. You are the gearbox queen! I dubbed the gearbox record. We go now. Okay, guys, we have another brand new gearbox coming tomorrow morning, courtesy of Mazda. Steven is right outside, and we are going to go back to the stock clutch. We think that the racing clutch is putting too much stress on the system. I uh, have another suspicion we changed also to a Costco two way LSC. Could be a major issue, but for now, going back to a stock gearbox with a stock clutch. Thank God Steven has the parts on stock and we're really going to cut it close tomorrow. I was willing to donate the gearbox from my spec Miata car but Steven wants me to run the series tomorrow so it's going to be interesting. Um, my mind is obviously on the endurance race and not on the spec race although hopefully I perform also in the spec race. It's very different but um, a lot of the training that I've done should apply for tomorrow so Good luck to us, hopefully it's a safe race for everybody and for now we're going to go have a small dinner and celebrate Gabby's birthday. See you guys again tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good morning everyone, rushing, rushing, rushing. Today is a Saturday and it's the start of the early day. I'm gonna go over to pick up my Miata and check on the endurance car after. Hopefully the spec Miata is okay. Our first practice session is at 7.10. Good morning! Okay, where do I sign for my car? Or you just can, jump in? Yeah, just jump in. Thanks, Steven! <laughs> so, the final piece of the race logic. Hopefully this thing works. This is the box that we installed. Mazda hooked up the rest of the wiring for us. And we're gonna change into a race suit and get ready. I'm in this ridiculously big race suit. But so baggy. But I need to get it altered. The first practice session is done. I did a 221.50. Not so good in the morning. I should be doing at least 220, but it's different when you drive this car and that car, the brakes are very much different. But weirdly enough, my time on both cars are the same, so it really is something to do with me. Um, Edgen was telling me that I should be trail braking into some of the corners because I shouldn't be letting off on the straight only. So I'm going to try that in the second practice session. For now, I'm going to get my driver's license and get my transponder. So I will see you guys again later. Just finished the official photo ops and now we are waiting for our qualifying. We are going to be qualifying in the next 10 minutes. Right now, it is the Master Club of the Philippines that is qualifying and then after that, all these spec Miatas will go out to qualify. It's gonna be interesting because the qualifying is basically 20 plus cars. Out of the 20 plus cars, there's probably like five or six fast drivers and then the rest are all beginner drivers. So. Hopefully there's a clear path that we can put down some good times. Um, it's gonna be a bit traffic for sure, especially some of the people don't know to stay off the racing line when they're cruising, so hopefully everything is a-okay. This is the first maiden voyage for the Mazda Miata spec series and super happy to be a part of it. I just did some interviews with the Mazda Philippine media team, so hopefully that came out well too. <laughs> Second flying lap, 219.26. I'm speeding more, so I'm going in later, which is good. Okay, guys, I think I am third on the grid. I was beaten out by Paul Henderson, so we're starting uh, behind, I think, behind Alan. Alan is Paul, and then Paul Henderson, and then myself, so. It'll be... I will be on the inside if I'm not mistaken, which means I just need to stick to Alan's bumper and try to 
block out Paul as soon as possible. So it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully I can keep third and crawl up to second. But you never know with these things. Hopefully it's a safe race. I'll update you guys again later. I have the B box in the Miata, so hopefully I can grab the footage from that also. First race is over, third place. The second place guy was super messy, wouldn't give way, and I basically overcooked my car. The clutch was sliding on the ninth lap, so I couldn't stick close to him anymore, and we're third. So I'll take that. Uh, Windy did overtake me in the first lap, and I got him on the main straight, but it's a super tight race. It really is a lot of driver skill to get the car to perform consistently for the 10 laps and the 10 laps obviously with the, the dead heat was so hard to keep pace, keep speed because of the heat and the heat soak for the car. You could feel even the temperatures went up also. But the car is in safe now and we are going to do some marketing parade laps for Shell and then after that uh, yeah I guess I'm going to try to order my food because it's already 12.30 and I have no lunch here. Okay, driver's briefing is done. We're saying Gab spun and hit the last corner. Apparently we're not the only ones out of gas, they are gassing up everybody and hopefully these dark clouds don't crawl in but you can feel the cool breeze already. And guess what, we are in second position, we're right behind Alan so it's gonna be exciting I'm going to try to catch Alan this time and that other guy is not gonna be blocking me so pretty pretty excited about this race. Hopefully the weather holds up, but then again, I do love driving in the rain also. So it's going to be interesting if it does rain because that makes it super slippery. Anyway, the major plan for the Endurance Miata is to basically, after the race, I'm going to remove some parts from my car, transfer it to that car so that we can get that running. We decided that Tyson will not qualify anymore today and he will start in the back of the grid tomorrow which means he just needs to work his way up again but because it's a 12-hour race we shouldn't have major issues Tyson is a very very fast driver and the car is really good in terms of gas mileage so just hoping the gearbox will hold too This is the endurance qualifying which we are missing. The organizers decided to bump it up because we had no fuel. So the Miatas are gonna come out at 5.15.
What's interesting is Alan is out here, which means he's sort of going to cook his brakes already. So I'm hoping that this is my chance to actually overtake Alan. <laughs> guys we finished second place but it was a lot of work the son of Tati Yuha is an amazing driver and he just misshifted I think his car is having problems in third year we're heading back to a warding so that we can thank you so that we can get our trophy and then we're going to strip this car and get ready for the endurance race this guy, Yuha, gave me such a hard time. Oh man, it was a great Thank you, Yuha. Thank you. Man, Thank you. This is the winner. <laughs> I thought I thought the two name breaks now, so I wanted to catch Alan. But still, he's still fast. <laughs> but this guy, no? this guy overtook me. It's just that he misshifted and he has gearbox problems. I uh, sliding clutch. Sliding clutch. Your race, brakes race. are shuddering. So That's we were cool. all dealing with our own handicap. Yes, yes. Pero but it was a fun race. Guys, congratulations. I'm just happy it's a clean race. Yeah, very clean. clean yeah. race. Third place, Angie King. Oh, the Philippines, Shell, GT Radio, and all the other sponsors. Second Skin for doing my rap. Happy Pride everyone. I hope you enjoyed that awesome race. Everyone's so fast already. It's kind of scary. I'm gonna have a hard time to beat Alan, but Yuha and the other guy, Paul, and yeah, everyone's super fast. So it's gonna be interesting season for the Mazda Spec Series. So excited. Thank you again. It's 4.35 a.m. and we are headed down to the speed Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good. Yeah. The cars are lining up already. We are walking to the starting grid. This is almost ready to start. We're going to do a ceremony, a prayer the national anthem and then it is officially the start of the 12 hour endurance race it's going to be from 5 30 to 5 30 basically from sunrise till sunset this is going to be so much fun tyson is starting in the back we are the only ones i think that didn't qualify today so it's going to be such a challenge for the mscc mazda team and walking all the way till the back not the usual starting position for Tyson, but confident. Ready? Happy we made it. Thanks, son. Happy, happy Tyson is already in third place on the second lap, so pretty, pretty good. Uh, I think that's us over there. The Civic of CAD finally pulled in. They're having some issues with the car. Tyson says our car has probably third gear issues ready. It's getting a little crunchy. The time is about 6.45 and Gabby's gonna jump into the car in the next uh, 20 minutes. Tyson basically has 10 laps left. 
and then Gabby's gonna do a sit. We're gonna try to save third gear by shifting early and not really relying on third gear to engine break the car. This is the start of the race, it's already a lot of work and Ejen is already looking for Gabby so she's gonna jump in soon. So they missed the box so now they have to realign the car to get into the box. Tyson's coming in. So right now it's fueling. We are about a bit half tank so we're just going to top up the fuel and then Gabby's gonna jump in. We thought we were faster but you're still the best. <laughs> We were, we were saying on the third lap mid grid, first lap mid grid, <laughs> second lap third place, third, place. third lap second place. <laughs> right now and Gabby has about 10 more laps and I think I'm gonna go in about 8.30 so I'm getting changed and getting ready already I'll start warming up and hopefully the car is okay I'm gonna listen to Gabby on her feedback when she brings the car in obviously we're going to top up the fuel as well and then after that I'm gonna have about an hour and 45 minutes to do my stint and then after me will be windy and then we're gonna rotate back to Gabby, or sorry, after Whitney, it's gonna be me again, and then Gabby, and then Tyson at the last. The morning stint and then the lunchtime stint, the car is acting up. We have some fuel surging issues. The surge tank is by the exhaust, which means it's getting really hot. It's heat soaking everything. So right now the boys are gonna see if we can pump up the fuel pressure so that we can eliminate the surge because it's starving in some corners on third gear and second gear. Not much we can do at this point, but band aid solution everything and see what we can do. I actually suggested that we hit the surge tank with the CO2 spray from the fire extinguisher but I think that's too cold in my crack the tank. Gabby's gonna do her stint now and it's a little rumbled up because it was supposed to be me for the long haul and then Gabby and then Tyson again but we're gonna jumble everything around now because we literally are trying to guess how to finish the race with this problem at hand. The car is really acting up and we don't know exactly what's wrong anymore. So we just ended up removing the primary fuel pump. This was our problem. The fuel filter is super dirty, like really clogged. So we're now removing the fuel system from my car over there that we can jam it in. Struggling to put on the lock ring. The fuel system is spring loaded, so it bounces up and down, so it's not that easy to just jam in. So I didn't get to film anything, but basically Tyson came back in after we did that repair job. He, we basically removed the search tank, looped it together, the team from Mazda Philippines, along with the boys from Edgeport plus myself, figured out how to sort of bypass the system. Right now we're running on the stock fuel pump. I'm hoping that the fuel tank isn't clogged and the filter isn't clogged because Tyson is out now, he's on his second lap. And it's about two hours and 45 minutes left before the race ends. So we're hoping this is enough to get us to the finish line because yep, this is the last of the last Hail Mary. There's nothing else that we can do after this if it still acts up. So, geez, this is the most dramatic endurance race that I've ever been in ever. Oh, crazy. And the weather changed. It's raining over here and it looks a little drier over there. The Civic of Carlos Anton, Inigo Anton and Mike Potenciano is sounding very funny already. What, what was that again that you guys were watching? Yeah, I mean. 
Gab's getting ready. She's going to finish the race for us. So far, the car is not acting up and I think we're going to finish the race. Tyson's coming in for the last driver change. Gabby's gonna go out right now. So far our fueling seems to be working and the boys and I were able to fix the issues. Thank God. Take it home girl. Gotta bring home the bacon. How's the car? Good huh? Oh, thank Ready? God. It is the last 10 minutes of the day. I am by the pit wall waiting for Gabby to run across. The rain is starting to drizzle now, but nothing as predicted of heavy, heavy rains now. I'm just happy that the car is running and we're going to be able to finish the race, although we're probably not going to win any overall positions. But I think we're going to be in a position in our uh, class one, if I'm not mistaken. We joined the open class in class one. So hopefully we have a position in class one and in the six hour race we have a position also. Right now both Miatas are still out and we had a meeting with Steven and Wendy and Don on the technical aspects of the car, what to fix for the car and what are the future modifications that we want to do for the November race happening which is the 8 hour race. It is the end of the day and I'm just happy that we finished. I basically had to lower my expectations from being overall pole. I'm very sorry to Mazda and Steven for not achieving our goal. We did some modifications that weren't properly tested. The car was only finished a week before the race and literally it wasn't enough time to shake the car down. But now we know we have a lot of time to prepare for the next race in November and we're going to really muster up all our technical abilities and skills to make sure that we come out number one in the November race. Here comes Gabby. Gabby's pushing. We have a car that broke down. It looks like the CAD Civic and it looks like it's hazards on the main straight. So they're not going to finish the race. The Civic of Inigo and Carlos and Don are is not doing so well. They're basically barely crawling. I think the checkered flag has dropped already. The checkered flag has dropped. Congratulations to all the accomplished winners. What a crazy day. Mazda Miata from the Cebu Racing Group. Alan in the number 22 is third place overall and then the GAC Motors is second place overall. Sadly, we are I think 14th position overall, which is all the way in the back. We had so many problems today and it was so difficult for us to position ourselves. But we finished the race and I guess that's what matters for now. But we finished the race. Our finisher. We made it! Happy Pride. <laughs> MSCC Master! We were about to leave, but look at the rain. The rain is so crazy. Anyway, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed the drama of the weekend. It's been such an interesting experience. I'm sorry again to Mazda and Steven Tan for not achieving our goals, but I wanna thank our team, Mazda Philippines, Steven Tan, Windy, Gabby, Tyson C, Edgen, and Parts Pro, Pia for taking video of us, and Again, the whole Mazda team and the whole team of Edgen, everyone pulled through to deliver what it is. It basically, we went from wanting to be on top to basically, please let us finish the race. And we did. We never gave up. We worked our asses off. We ripped off parts from my car just to get this car running. And at the end of the day, that's the lesson, right? Don't give up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I will see you guys again in the next video.